Hey everybody, this morning we couldn't get the washer door to close. It acted like it was going to close and it just wouldn't latch. So the first thing that I did is I started cleaning out all the gunk underneath and ended up cleaning these really well. <laughs> they were really bad. So um, somehow thinking maybe that would help, but I'm kind of and this OCD. is a Samsung DRT Steam, by the way. Yeah, so I'm a little OCD, so I wanted to make sure it was all clean. And it still wouldn't close, of course. We thought it might have been off balance. It wasn't off balance. And so um, we watched a video on YouTube, which we will link to because they gave really good detail on um, how to actually make the repair in detail. What I'm going to show you though is uh, we started taking things apart. So I took the face off here and then took this piece off from these wires and we discovered it was broken. So um, no repairing this piece. It was already broken, somehow got smashed. So Todd went to uh, went ahead and called Accurate Appliance in Mooresville. Oh, here's their thing. Yeah, called Accurate Appliance. And what did they tell you, Todd? Well, it's Friday before Easter, and they said they could get it repaired by Tuesday. Yeah, so that's no good. And they actually shared with Todd. Yeah, they sent us, they gave me the name of their parts distributor down in Charlotte, and they happened to be open today. So we And had the in. part. What was their name? DNL. DNL Supply, I think. DNL something. Yeah, DNL. Parts. DNL, DNL parts. parts in Charlotte, <laughs> North Carolina. They were actually really nice yeah, and really very nice. helpful. This part, that whole thing ran yeah. about seventy-eight bucks. Yeah. So we got a whole new part. Oh, that's not it. We got a whole new part, which I'm going to show you how to put back together. All right. So you have to put all the wires back in. And you've got three different sets. You have to be really careful because you don't want to harm the wires themselves. So first you're going to start with the one that has the two prongs and slip it back inside. And you have to be able to hear it click together. Did you hear that? That was your click. I think that's as far as it'll go. Maybe not. I think that might be it. And then you go to the next one. And this one has three prongs in it. And you push it inside. That engineering background is really coming in handy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you take the next one and you put it in there. It's a little bit awkward in here. Oh, by the way, be sure to unplug your washer first. True. Since you're dealing with electronics. Okay, so after you get the wires all snug back in there, and they all should just clip into place. You have to, um, don't be too hard on them, but get them definitely to snap in. And then you're going to put this back in to the, um, the cover, which you took off originally with the three screws. Okay, so you're going to line this up and you're going to have to snap it into place down here. Did you hear it snap? And then it all should click right into place. And then the other thing to remember is there's a harness here that you have to put this wire in. And it's right here. And you have to clip that wire into it. Make sure it goes in there so it'll hold it snug. Okay, so if you're taking it apart, be sure you take that first. And then you're going to make sure you have the little tail, this thing, toward the bottom. And you're going to peel that back and put it right back in there. And line it right back up to the drop, the drop, the door. Did you hear that? It went right back in there. 
And then I just put my screws inside the washer so that I could make sure I kept them safe. And then we're going to put all the screws back on. And we hope it works. <laughs> Time. Not all the way tight. They all should be lined up. And then I just have the one more down here. We get them good and tight. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after you've got it all tightened up is to put this rubber boot back on. So you're going to take it and just lip it over that outside edge there just to make it all the way around. Make sure it's snug everywhere so that it fits on there perfectly. And then to keep that rubber boot from coming off again, well, like that. <laughs> from all my cleaning today. I'll make sure that's nice and dry. And I'm going to just make sure that lip goes back. And the next thing you do is you put your wire back around it with that spring. And you're going to put that this right into that little edge there. And just fit it. And I'm just going to put mine back about where it was when I first took it off, if I can get it in there. <laughs> you use your screwdriver to get it off. Might yeah. Have screwdriver to get it back I may off. have to use that screwdriver again. That's right. Because it is a wire. We don't want to bend it. So while you're working on this stuff, you don't want to leave it out for the kids to play with or anything like that. Mm. <laughs> <Wah>. <laughs> yeah, see if you can put your hand like maybe yeah over here somewhere. Catch you though. on there. Now your boot won't come off. <laughs> okay. The moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Remember before it would not close. Yay. Woo! Back in business. Let's see if it'll come on. It won't with the power turned oh, on. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the power off. Like good engineers. Okay, here we go. Turning it on. Coming on. So I'm going to run a quick wash here. 
and see what happens. Run it through some hot water. It locked. It's working. Woo! Yay!